Ryan, obviously good news yesterday with uh, the outcome that Hero can play on Sunday. Yeah, no, definitely. I think common sense prevailed. It obviously doesn't change the impact it had on the last game, but um, I hope as a football fan, not just a player, that uh, we don't see that happen again because it probably ruined what was going to be a really good game. What were the players told in the off-season exactly from the referees about those sort of incidents? Yeah, more f um, obviously studs and high contact, but more the force. Um, and that's just where we didn't really see with Hiroshi's incident. Um, any of those dangerous tackles are going to um, they're going to come down hard on them. And yeah, we just didn't think that fit the category. Where were you in relation to when it happened and what was your immediate reaction? Um, I was disappointed that it was a foul in the first place and then I saw the card come out, but yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, you probably think VAR is going to overturn it, but it didn't happen and um, yeah, I suppose you yeah, have to be extremely proud of the boys and the way we got on with it and we got on with the job and even going 2-1 down and then to make it 2-2 and, and hold on for a, for a valuable point, well, we did really well. Is it, does it sort of leave you scratching your head a little bit about the use of technology? Because I mean, a red can in the heat of the moment see some studs up and think that there was enough contact there, but when you get the chance to look at it and then you still uphold that decision, does that sort of baffle the players? Um, I just think from a football fan, you don't want to see those card, those incidents being being red cards. Otherwise, you know, it's a contact sport. Um, you want to see the physicality side of the game. And um, as players, you want to be able to get stuck in as well. So, um, yeah, I just, I just don't think it's a good look and it's not going to attract the people that we want to come watch if those incidents are going to um, be red cards. Is it a little uh, bit of sweet last night's decision? As you said, I mean, the hero can, can play this weekend, but you were in a winning position in the, in the game that you desperately probably wanted three points. How yeah like you said we can't go back and change it so there's no much not much point dwelling on it now um it is what it is like i said common sense prevailed and now we move on and look forward to perth this week oh, how do you know what happens in the game um i think we're in a really good position and obviously once you lose a player then it, it changes your tactics and the way you play the game but how do you know sydney don't come out in the second half and put the foot down as well you it's there's so many factors that you just don't know what happens <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> that's all good, yeah. Um, it was, uh, yeah. I was pretty happy to score. Um, I was just disappointed we couldn't get the three points. I mean, we, a few years ago, you were the top goal scorer and then you sort of have shut back to, to pull back since then. But are you uh, uh, still hoping to continue to contribute you know, goals, a few more goals in the season from that? Ah, yeah. If I, the opportunity presents myself, to myself in the game, then yeah, I like getting those attacking positions. But... My job first and foremost is to, to defend and, and to do my job there and to support Goodwin in whatever way he needs and make sure he, he's, the, he's the star of the show. So, um, yeah, just happy to play my role and, yeah, got one goal now and don't expect that happen too much more. <laughs> is it disappointing? I know the game was ruined in a sense, but can you still take, you know, does it galvanise the team in one way? Backs against the wall, everyone's against us. You know, we're all together and I think you blocked half of the shots that Sydney FC had on target. You must be proud of that. Oh, definitely. Extremely proud of the boys and, and the way we went about it. Um, we are a resilient group and I think every year uh, people don't give us the... Uh, the credit at the start of the season and think we're going to um, excel as a squad but we always have that inner belief and I suppose it's that mentality of yeah backs against the wall we want to prove people wrong and I think you saw that on uh, Sunday afternoon once the, what happened happened and we had really put in a good fight and and I think to go down 2-1 early in the second half and then to still create some good chances and defend well and block shots was a real credit to the lads. Back at a brand new or not quite brand new high um, Cooper Stadium on Sunday um, so you're happy to be home and it looks intense out there. It looks really like a real football stadium. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Um, just walking here was the first time I've had a good look at it. And yeah, it's got me my goosebumps already and I can't wait for, for Sunday to come. It's, it's going to be awesome. Um, obviously, yeah, to have the, that stand over there with Carver and the new corporate boxes and that, it, it looks amazing. And um, yeah, hopefully Sunday we can get a big crowd and everyone wants to come out and, and see it and we can put in a good performance and get our first three points. Yeah, of course, invaluable. Um, you have to start winning and um, I think Sunday was a step in the right direction. We're really happy with the output and, and like, the, like we said, the way we put in a resilient performance and um, prior to the red card, we're playing some really good football, creating some really good chances. So we've created good chances over the first three games and I think in front of our home fans, no one's, everyone's, every player is going to be pretty hungry and keen to score. So uh, we're looking forward to it. Really building into that match 
yeah, of course, um, Craig's quality speaks for itself. He's such an integral part of our squad um, and it's good for us to be able to have him back out there and he's only going to continue to get better in preparation for, for himself and the World Cup. And um, yeah, it's, I love playing out there on the left-hand side with him. He makes my job easy. I just give him the ball and let him do the rest. What have you made of the Perth start of the season and what are you expecting on Sunday? Yeah, there's a relatively new squad as well. Um, look quite solid defensively. They had a good win on the weekend, so they're going to be full of confidence. But at our home ground. Um, yeah, we're very excited to be playing here and um, we expect to take three points if we play the way that we know that we can.